for a vehicular homicide and the death of a teenager at a spring break party. Tonight, Action News has team coverage of this highly emotional case, beginning with Tom Castanotis, who was in the courtroom when the judge sentenced the teenager. In a small hallway of the courthouse, Eric Neustrom meets with his attorney, who tells him to prepare for a prison sentence. He doesn't have to tell the 17-year-old that the corridor leading to the courtroom will be filled with reporters. Nordstrom knows to expect that. What started it all were the events of one night last year when, racing home to beat a curfew, Nordstrom slammed his car into the teenagers he was partying with. One was killed, another suffered brain damage, and five others were injured. His attorney told the judge Everyone Nordstrom is filled with remorse and that jail is not appropriate for what he described as an accident. Um, I don't think putting him behind bars um, is half the, the hell that he's going to live forever. But Judge Marvin Mount disagreed. Nordstrom was sentenced to a year in the Stockade's work release program. He'll be able to work or go to school during the day, but he'll spend each night in the barracks with the other inmates. After that, he'll spend another year in the house arrest program, which means Nordstrom will spend every night at home. For each of the seven years he's on probation, Nordstrom will have to do 200 hours of volunteer work. Nordstrom said he was sorry. I know that I'm sorry it doesn't help, but I just want to say to everybody, especially Amber, I'm sorry. Amber is Amber Hunter, the teenager who was killed. Her mother said she was satisfied with the sentence and is relieved that the case is over. You know, it's a daily thing on how I can cope on the loss of my daughter. I still go through the grieving. And uh, one day is great, one day, four days is real bad. So, but I stop with coming here so I can focus on other things, hopefully. Nordstrom will not have to begin serving his sentence until the appeals court rules that he had a fair trial. That ruling may not come for years. In West Palm Beach, I'm Tom Castanotis, Action 5 News. In addition, Judge Mounts ruled that Nordstrom will lose his driver's license for five years. And Jim, it may take much longer for Eric's high school classmates to get over the events of the past several months. As Action 5's Mark Esterly explains tonight, throughout it all, Eric Nordstrom always had the staunch support of his friends. One thing that helped Eric Nordstrom through his difficult proceedings is the solid support he received from friends and classmates. Many were there when his car sped out of control, killing Amber Hunter. Some agreed to testify in his behalf, and those who supported him throughout appeared as relieved by the sentence as Eric's family. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy he got probation. I think jail would have would have been very bad for him. I'm glad about the community service, and I really don't think that he deserves jail. It's just not what's needed in this case. Do you think anybody can forget about this? Um, it's it's going to be hard, but I think I just think it's fair. The student body of Santa Lucia's high school was divided as to whether the bright, popular student deserved a break or needed to be taught a lesson. In June, classmates elected Eric Prom King, infuriating Amber's mother, who staged a protest. On graduation night, Eric received the loudest ovation. Administrators of Santa Lucia's didn't want to comment about the sentence, preferring to remain neutral as they have throughout. But one said the upcoming school year should be a lot less tense. Even those working for the prosecution were affected by the case. Very difficult. One of the most difficult I've ever worked with. Mark Esterly, Action 5 News. When Eric Nordstrom graduated from Santa Lucia's High School last spring, he did so with the hopes that he could go on to college. Well, the teenager may be pursuing that dream, even though today Judge Mountain sentenced him to a year in the stockade. There, he will be housed in barracks with other inmates. We sent our Mark Kaler out to the stockade today for a look at what Nordstrom may face. The Palm Beach County Stockade currently has three dormitories for work release inmates. Sixteen men share this cell block. Each day they must make their beds, mop the floors, and clean the bathroom. Violations can lead to the loss of game time or other privileges. 
are just restricted in what they can do. Uh, their leisure activity is sitting here in this you know, room that you see watching TV, and that's, that's it. The recreation area is open twice a day. Inmates who are at work during those times miss out. All phone calls are collect. Everyone here has a job on the outside, but the moment the shift is over, they return to the dorm. Inmates enter their precise exit and entry times at the gatehouse, but the close observation by corrections officers does not end here. We also, we have officers that are constantly in the field. We check job sites, we check residents um, every other day periodically. Unexcused lateness from work can lead to discharge from the program, even on the first offense. And inmates know the next level of incarceration affords no hope whatsoever of getting past the barbed wire. In West Palm Beach, Mark Taylor, Action 5 News. Mark adds inmates can earn a maximum of five days gain time per month for good behavior, and they're allowed visitation privileges on Sundays. However, Nordstrom will not serve any time yet pending an appeal.